Hey guys, <coughs> welcome back to another episode in the playthrough of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. We're back in this hellhole. I'm not even sure whether I like <laughs> I like it to continue this playthrough because uh, this first couple of episodes they were pretty freaky. I wonder whether that are collectibles. And, ah, I don't have anything anymore. No gun, so I cannot shoot it. And again, I'm delaying the inevitable that is going outside from the safety of this nice uh, cupboard storage room. But I have to get out there. And I also uh, read somewhere that in this game, the first hour is the most freakish because indeed you're you're totally um, unable to to defend yourself or to do anything. You're just like really being toyed around with. And I think we are still a bit uh, in that mode without any guns or everything. But afterwards, it's supposed to become more. Um, yeah, the, the Ethan becomes more resilient. He, he upgrades his weapons and stuff. So really, I'm actually pretty much looking forward to that. To the exploration, to the puzzles. But this being like con constantly like being bum rushed. With my hand being cut off and shit like that. <laughs> being chainsawed to death. Mold over and over again. It's not really my idea of fun, but... Um, Anyways, let's see what that mother sucker has in uh, store for us. Here we go. Oh. Ah, now I remember. That was it. Telephone ring. You did good, Ethan. Zoe, right? And what the fuck are you? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. You gotta get out of that house. There might be a way out through the main hall. All right. Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. Who the hell is she then, brother? Who the hell is she? I'm from the Southern States. Holy shit. Take it easy, Ethan. Don't <laughs> make that no much noise, goddammit. I'm pretty sure that that dude will pop up again. Quite annoying, actually. Uh, the main holes, he said. I don't see a main hole. I see a garage closed off. I see there is... I wonder what that symbol is. I'm going to check. I think we need to get to that locked door all the way to the right. With that key symbol on it. But down uh, below, south of where the uh, Ethan is now. A bit uh, in the top in the middle. Straight south, there's also a kind of a symbol over there. Let's check that out. I wonder what that is. And I wonder whether that freaky dude is still roaming about. Oh man, I'm again <laughs> tensing up because we will be getting again so much pretty sure jump scares. It's so easy for developers to do that. I mean, there could be someone standing behind me right now. <laughs> All right, nobody there. That's good. Ah, this is that um, symbol. It's a locked cupboard. All right, so the garage is also locked. And there was, by the way, something. Yeah, I could break that box, but I don't have anything to break it with. Would be good if I could get my inventory back. 
Yes, this is all pretty much closed off. So actually I have no idea where to go. Sound design is amazing in this game because every sound you make really feels like too much. Like the squeaking stuff and everything. I do see quite a lot of screen tearing, but it all seems too much like alerting the freakadelics of this house. I think I already pretty much... Here, that's what I mean. What the hell is that sound? Somebody is making a sound. Get to the main... <laughs> to the main hole. What the hell was that sound? I have no idea where it comes from. It's on my, in my headset. I don't really have like that good directional sound feel. Like I hear it. Holy shit. I hear everything is pretty close by, but <laughs> where exactly? I don't know, but God damn it, this nothing is happening. It's only like sound and it's just the suspense that's killing. Like it's really is all about the fear what's coming up. Not so much if something comes up, it's not that freaky. It's all about the fear of what's coming up. I think it's that dude who is just looking for me and smashing on stuff. Lucas, February 13. Jack and Margaret's 25th wedding anniversary. Ah, can I maybe use them for this? I don't think so, right? I need an item to open this lock. <laughs> but I have no idea what item and where to place it. I do see two like swords or something. It's like knights fighting. Maybe I should pu put something on those sticks. Make it like genuine swords. hail Caesar but what it also is 
is a bit reminiscent of this game is actually Resident Evil 2 with the um, that big dude that is chasing you ah what's this this is closed off I forgot his name it's uh, Mr. Big or um wait let's make that a learning moment um R E two uh one second we do R E two and then we do Fedora. Mr. X is his name. By the way, this is an article I want to read. Mr. X is the best and the worst part of Resident Evil 2. I do agree. Actually, I don't really... Yeah, it's not that, that I'm, I'm chickening out or that it's an excuse. I don't really like this being chased by something you cannot defeat like of course who does but it's also like open up holy shit hey you hey hey over here where hey open up Ah, there's hey. somebody. Anyways, what I really like uh, in these games are also the hey, exploration and stuff. Um, just exploring and uh, puzzling. Open and then up. if you have some entity or human or whoever um, hey, over here. trying uh. to continuously chase you and, and grab you, that that gets a bit in the way of it you know you hardly i hardly can enjoy exploring if i continuously have to uh mind my back that's why i'm also now exploring because i know a bit game mechanics hey, you. The, the game ah this is what i mean i'm now exploring you normally with now i know i won't be attacked because the game wants me to first talk to that police dude I assume it's the police agent, but at least now I can more casually explore. And now I actually find something. Here we go. Three missing during Urbex trip. State authorities are asking for help locating three men who went missing during their travels to Dulvi Parish from New Orleans on the 9th of this month. The missing men have been identified as Peter Walken, Andrew Stickland and Clancy Javis. Three produced videos for the internet and traveled to Delphi to shoot hey, footage open. for their latest production. Their video consists mostly of the group exploring hey. abandoned buildings and haunted houses. Open up. Hey, open. That were the three from the, um, the video that we saw. The Unveiled Abyss, Abyss Clive up. R. Hey, O'Brien. You see, there is more to this place then hey, meets you. the eye but now i um yeah okay let's get Open into up. it let's check out this air code hey. like the details maybe there's something here hey, no nope. all right here we go i also don't want to talk with him because i'm pretty sure what's going to happen up. you will be lured into a sense hey, of security by the police agent and then he will be brutally murdered up. And we will be uh, chased again. And I really don't feel hey, like the chasing, but all right, whatever. Let's do it. Here Open we go. Up. Hey, you gotta help me. Hold on, back up. Now, sir, do you live here? I mean, is this your property? What? Me? No. No. All right. Now we got several calls about some missing persons lately. You don't understand. I gotta get out of here. Calm down. You're not listening to me. 
there are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> well, all right, let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, all right? Are you kidding me? Look, like I said, we've had several missing persons called. Pretty sure he will, <laughs> he's going to get butchered. Yourself may not be involved. All right, I'll tell you whatever you want. All right, now that's more like it. Now, meet me in the garage. We'll talk later. Hey, wait. You gotta give me your gun. <laughs> you must have lost your mind. Look, officer, deputy. Right, deputy. If you want to see my name in the obituaries, but you want to be a hero and save my life. A fucking pocket knife? Here. Take it. That's all you're gonna get. Now go. Garage. Now. What am I gonna do with a knife? Open up that box. All right, there was, I was really, they did a good job. I was really expecting him to be slaughtered, but that would be too cliche. All right, here we go. Nice. I think there was more stuff into that um, cellar thingy. God damn it. Uh, into that crawl space. Let's check that out. Probably if I get to the garage, the officer will be there, like dismembered. I think, ah, that's what I read. There will be a boss fight in the garage with the um, the, the dude of the house and what I've read I think what I've read is that afterwards the game gets like a more traditional pace god damn it there's like a big box over there Why can't I open this? I need like a shotgun or something. All right, that's not gonna work. Another way in. Hello, hello. Holy shit. Maybe there are like old tunnels over there. All right, you tell me. Ah, I could get to the garage. And he might just, because I was thinking of not going there. Because. The door was locked, but it could of course well be that the police officer, the police, will open that door from the other side for me. Right, I'm pretty sure the game will progress after that, so I first like to explore a bit more. Maybe I overlooked something. It's not that big of an area because it's all pretty closed off. Such a freaky game this, it's incredible. Here, that's what I mean. That is what I mean. Bullets, how many bullets do I have? Quite a lot, 10. I did put aim assist off, which was quite annoying actually. Maybe I should keep it on. Right, there really is not that much here anymore. Uh, 
Maybe this door, this was locked, I guess. Oh no. Ah, I can save the game, of course. Nice. Forgot about that. There are no save ribbons. I can save as much as I want. Is there anything else I can break here with my knife? Ah, check it out. That's what I mean. All right, what do we have? A liquid that can be combined to make items. I can combine that, I think, with the herb, a plant containing nutrients that help to heal wounds, consume to recover a small amount of health. That's if I can um, con take it directly. Um, then I have a small amount of health. But if I combine it, I think with that uh, other uh, fl the, with that fluid. Then it um, will be way stronger. Chem fluid, energy solution. But what I also heard, I could combine this fluid with bullets as well to make... Um, the hell what the hell is this to to make like a uh, special ammunition they have a new menu what the hell is this ah this is like the tutorial what it says a herb and camp fluid closes up wounds and promotes cell regeneration partially restores health let's make one i think i could use it um combine what the hell is combine what else is this? This is discard. This is drop, I guess. Oh, use. And this is discard. Here we go. Combine. Nice. The question is, do I want to take it now? I do see some blood spatters on screen but i don't think he, uh, it's already worth taking that uh, scars healing item so let's just do that later on if i need it more but anyways what did this did teach me i find this really weird well, why can i pick up this random box it does appear to have something inside ah check it out this is what i like a tool for opening simple locks breaks easily this is what i mean with like the cool puzzle elements in uh, resident evil games don't make so much noise, Ethan. God damn it. And also what I uh, learned here, I forgot to finish my sentence earlier, is that there is more to be found than meets the eye if you just take it easy and indeed explore. And things are less obvious. It's not like things are being highlighted like in, in other games. You really just have to look into the world for items that you could interact with that's really cool it's really pretty realistic so to say here we go come on bro you can do this nice healing item did we have more locked stuff somewhere i don't think so Maybe over there. By the way, beautiful flowers. Check out the textures. Looks pretty sharp. <laughs> this is such a cool game. Where this is really like, I can. The, the, 
I feel, I think, the same tenseness as children who are 12 and playing the, the Resident Evil game for the first time. Like, I think that is... Ah, you see, I'm learning the ropes that are collectibles. And I am... Um, at the same level... God damn it, that lockpick is consumed. Right, whatever. I'm at the same level of anxiety, I think, as somebody, uh, as child playing a Resident Evil uh, game for the first time. Because my anxiety is pretty high up there. Alright. That's what I mean. Not sure. Is this being tracked somewhere? How many of those I got? Normal, two hours, restart. Mr. Everywhere is destroyed. Ah, that are Mr. Everywhere. I have two out of 20. Zero and T coins. Files two, item box opened. That's maybe those wooden boxes. Or also that box with the lockpick in it, that metal uh, casing. Healing items used to stabilizers. We also get stabilizers and steroids. All right, good to know. Save the game. And guys, I have to end the episode here. I will immediately in the next one continue. Uh, in the, I will immediately continue with the next episode after this one. Just quickly checking whether I didn't overlook something. Because sometimes it's also hard, hard to si say what you can interact with and what not. For instance, this box I cannot, but this one I could. Anyways, enough um, Yeah, doing nothing. Let's uh, end the episode. Oh, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one. For the meantime, do not forget to keep on gaming. See you later.